And welcome back to Loco Skates. Some people in the comments previously said that uh, the audio was a bit funny because um, they could hear loads of stuff in the background, but we are a functioning shop and we don't stop functioning when we film a video. So the phone's ringing, there's people collecting parcels, there's all sorts of stuff happening when we're here. But today there happens to be an actual hurricane happening outside the door, <laughs> outside the window. Um, what is it, Storm Elaine? Storm Eugene? I don't know what it's called. Storm something. What's the storm called, Gas? Skins of an E. Has it got a name? <laughs> yeah. yeah, these days they all have names. I, yeah, I didn't know, I haven't heard the name of this one yet. It, look, it looks like Nuance or something like that, but with an E. Uh, storm. This is important information. Yeah. We need it. Storm. Eunice. 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 Storm Eunice. Okay, so close to nuance. Yeah. So apparently, um, it is literally like a hurricane um, strength wind, but you can't call it a hurricane when it's in England because a hurricane has to like happen like in the uh, in the tropics or something. So um, so it's an extra tropical cyclone. So just to warn you guys, that that's the noise you're hearing, and if the roof comes off and we all get sucked out screaming mid video then uh, call the authorities, send help. <laughs> um, so the best, what, what are the best flat frames for aggressive Gaston? Well, everyone's different, so everyone's gonna have their own opinion on it. But <laughs> my opinion would be the Caltic flat V2 frame. <laughs> because <laughs> it just works the best for for me, for not sticking up on grinds. Well, you're wrong. Mate. I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can't have your own opinion. I can't have my That's own. That's not correct. Yeah. Harry? Sorry. Yeah, I was laughing because this is our second take of it, and I just liked the diplomatic the change. <laughs> response <laughs> on the second <laughs> second attempt. Maybe I'll change mine as well. Um, yeah, yeah, so it's better. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I... Uh, really like the new them frames and I also really like the 50-50 frames both Prime and the originals. Cool yeah and you tried the so we filmed this flat video we went and <laughs> skated in the skate park and tested out all these frames and how we also tested out anti-rocker frames so that's the next video um, so here's what I did I went and tested uh, the best eight flat frames or in my opinion the best eight flat frames on the market right now and um, I'll show you which ones they are. We tested the Wish medium frame. We tested the Kaiser Fluid 5 frame. Symmetrics by Adapt. The Celtic V2 frame, Gaston's favorite. The uh, Ground Control Fever Light 4 frame. Uh, Kaiser, this is what I was skating before, the Kaiser Element 2. And the Slimline, Kaiser Slimline frame. And also, um, yeah, the Solar High low Jarkinson frame. We did a, we did this testing where we tested for speed, uh, speed rolling around on each frame. We tested for the Royale position. I think that's an important thing. Is Royale position, and tested for top sides because you know the frame wall, the fatness of the frame wall is going to affect how much top side space you've got and the position of your top side. Um, yeah, and also this like bit at the bottom of the frame here, like the shape of that could affect your top side as well because if it's beveled, then it might be easier. And then we tested for wheel bite, so front side royale and back side royale on a square uh, ledge. So uh, it was the f we were going to film one of those videos where we kind of went out and went, hi, we're at the skate park, like what me and Harry did before for a couple of things. And um, yeah, uh, it was a bit boring, the footage. <coughs> so we had those tests, so the ones which you just said, H block, top sole, and I can't remember what the other one was, but so we had that on each and all of the frames, so we were just filming three or four tricks, going and changing a load of frames in a skate park, and then going and filming three or four tricks yeah, again, so exactly. it was, uh, yeah. It was monotonous in the we, end. And, it, and it, apparently that monotony has uh, spilled over into the, the footage. Yeah, so, so, we, so instead of doing that, we're going to do it just like, we just, I think we'll just try and talk about it. I know it was me that... We'll that spare tested. the viewers the monotony. Yeah. yeah. But it was me that tested the frames, but, I, but Matt, um, Gaston and Harry are mic'd up in case they had some input. 
um, because it'll probably be more interesting than me just sitting in the skate park changing frames, doing a million top And cells. we've all probably used most of the frames there anyway, hey? Yeah, yeah, bar, exactly. Bar a few I haven't, but... Yeah. So starting out with the wish frame, um, first test was the speed test. Yeah, they felt fine, they got big wheels, and I skated 65 on the outside, 58 in the middle, which made them flat. It's a high-low system. They all ride flat, smaller wheels in the middle, bigger wheels on the outside. And is that the frame... Is that 65, is Axle it? to axle length, 269 or 257? This is the smaller one, 257. 257. Um, the one I'm holding is actually not the 65. Oh, I changed sorry. the wheels since I used yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. They come in two sizes, the Wish frames, but ingeniously, they actually haven't changed the mold. So to save costs, it's always the same bit of plastic, but they've just drilled the holes closer together on the two end wheels on the smaller frame, and on the larger frame, it's like slightly further out. Mm -hmm. And I don't mind that whatsoever. It makes no difference to me. In fact, I actually think it's better because I like a longer frame for grinds because it holds you on the grind more balanced if you've got a longer frame. But then the wheelbase when you land on the floor because the bolts are just set in mm -hmm. from the outside, you've got a better turning. So best of both worlds for me, I thought that was a, I actually think that's a good feature. Mm. It's just so happened, like kind of happy mistake. Um, yeah, so they were, they were fine for speed. And then the Royale position um, started off a bit, like stood up, but I went and skated the curb and um, wore them in. And after wearing them in a few times on the curb, the Royale felt really good on that. Yeah, way better. Let's talk now about Royale position on skates, right? Because it's going to depend what skates you're using as to what, um, what the best Royale position is. So the, the best frame you can buy, actually, maybe isn't the Kautic V2 or the 5050 Prime. I think the best frame you can buy is the frame that matches your skate best. Mm. Mm. And I don't mean colour. Whatever skate you've got, you're going to have... This is really obvious stuff, by the way, but... I always forget about this. I end up putting frames on my skates and then not thinking about this kind of basic principle. But, of course, like depends how far out your Royale groove is on your sole kit and how that matches the groove on your frame. I've got a little bit of a theory actually. I reckon like, I reckon that distance there between frame and the outside of the groove should be about the same as the distance between there and the bottom of your groove. Like this and this should be equal. How about that for theory? Unproven, sounds no like, data, sounds not like peer good maths. Some good science, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll wait for the uh, double-blind, <laughs> peer-reviewed trials to come back <laughs> on that one. But obviously, if you've got a wider sole kit, if it's wider out here, then it probably benefits you to have like a higher frame for your position. Um, if you have like a high frame and a thin sole kit, then you're going to be too like, like oh, you're going to be too. You can have to bend your leg too far over. Yeah. And that's the problem I had with the uh, Element 2 frame that I was previously riding. The way I was were too, too much for my ankles, I had to, had to push them over too much. We'll get to that one. The Royale felt really nice and out once I'd grooved it in with the Vem Skate sole kit. The other thing, top soles, they felt fine. Quite hard to distinguish between a lot of these frames and the top soles, to be honest. I think the main thing to think about is like that front foot on your top sole rather than the actual top side foot mm -hmm. and whether that's going to catch on the wheels. The best thing about these frames was the ultimate confidence, feeling like you're on an anti-rocker set setup but being on a flat setup. And I just thought I was never ever going to hit those wheels. I really enjoyed skating them because of that, because I, I just, there was no anxiety at all. I think, I, I think I'd quite like to skate these frames after this test, just for that reason, just so I can go to a skate park and forget about it. Did you try any set slides in it? That's a really good point, actually, and that's, yes, and that frame is good for set, good, set yeah, slides, yeah, because yeah. it's got those little bits that stick out. And, you can, yeah. and then, again, the Vemma skate, that's a good sole kit for it as well, because you're lent right over, so you don't get the bite on the wheels, because you, you go right over. So a smaller sole kit's better for set slides, of course. Look cool as well, the Wish frame, don't they? I think they've really nailed nailed the aesthetics for me I don't know it's just like big and blocky yeah. it's kind of kind of like that how deep can you go like we're talking about the look of frames 
Like well, at look, what point does it begin not if, to matter? If, if you want to get real deep, that the only reason why I'm still messing around with other frames is because I don't like the way the Celtic Black V2 looks. That's literally it. Like, think about, like, I get it, right? You've got a pair of trainers, you want to look nice in your trainers, or a t-shirt, you want to look <coughs> nice. But, like, how far can you push it? Like, one th it's one thing, like, oh, you want your skates to look nice. That's pushing it one step further. <laughs> and then one <coughs> step further than that is, like, I want the frames on my skates to look nice. Yeah. And it's I'm, kind of yeah. weird. I'm willing to sacrifice <laughs> certain tricks just so that I can have a frame that I know can look on. I mean, it's pretty sad, isn't it? <laughs> What's funny about the frame thing is unless you're holding a skate in your hand, like no one, even on footage, like you don't really... You never know. I don't even remember looking at like an edit and going, oh my God, those frames are ugly. Do you, do you know what I mean? Yeah, so no I don't way. know why it's such like a thing. Yeah, it's a good point. Yeah. yeah, we're pushing it to the next level of vanity, but it's there, it's a real thing. I feel the same as well. Mm. I want my skates to look good. Okay, next uh, frame we tried was the Caltic V2. On the speed of these, I think they felt slightly slower than the Wish, if I had to be like, I don't know, being really picky about this though. The middle wheels um, were slightly smaller, I guess, so it might have been something to do with it. I don't know. Um, but they also, I felt like a bit more grounded, and I don't know quite why, but I remember saying to Harry at the time, like, I felt like a bit more closer to the ground, or grounded in some way. The height of the Caltex is 35 millimetre and it actually, that, that is higher than the, I, d I, d I don't quite know why they felt grounded because they're, they're no lower than the, than the uh, wish frames but there was something about them. Could also be, um, I forgot the technical term for the width of a frame, not the frame walls, the actual like width. Obviously the wider it is, your, your foot will be more stable and the thinner it is, you'll have more like um, this bit here? Exactly, yeah. There's an actual name for that. I can't remember what it's called. The name of that measurement is something. We'll flash it up on screen We'll now. flash it up. We'll flash it up. It's flashed. There it is, somewhere. <laughs> wow, that's uh, a cool name. <laughs> <laughs> Who thought of that? <laughs> it's pretty good. Um, but yeah, that's the thing. You know, like, so maybe, maybe you should measure it now against the wish and see if it's wider. If it has a, a thinner one, like I presume the solar one will, you'll be able to use the edges of your wheels a bit easier. You'll be able to pronate and supinate. Okay, right, here we go. Here we go. Got there in the end. The Caltic, yeah, the word that you're talking about. Yeah, which we haven't discovered Which we yet. know now. We do know because it's on the screen. It's wider on the Caltic, right. I'm glad we came to a conclusion there. So this between there and there, and there and there, it's wide on the Celtic, and maybe that's why they felt more solid. And maybe that's why they felt slower. Yeah, probably. The si science, anyone got the science? Oh, I explained it. Oh, that that. Can you like prove it. that? Can you give, provide some evidence to back it up? Sounds like good science. Huh? Okay, cool. If it sounds like it's good, and it's good enough for me these days. I guess if that's it's it. narrower, and you use your edges more, you know, there's like less co contact points on the wheel. This is deep. Mm. I've now put on the Caltic frames, I'm skating 65-56. Let's see what the Royale groove position is like. Ooh. Yeah, Caltic have got the famous big groove and you feel it straight away. I haven't, I haven't done anything to that, I haven't skated a curb. Perfect out of the box. Let's try the top side. Yeah. No problem even with the slightly slender them sole kit and the wide uh, Celtic walls. Okay, so I'm just going to try a front side way out for wheel bite. Yeah, uh, yeah, it'll take a little bit of getting used to, but certainly I can feel that the deep groove is. Um, a little bit of a hindrance on Royale's because especially on square and it's going to be because where it's perfect on round that deepness is putting me in a position that the square edge doesn't want me to be put in so I don't think it's a wheel bite issue it's just like a positioning issue on square so I understand now why there's shallower grooves next frame tried this is the Kaiser Fluid 5 frame and for whatever reason 
again, I don't, don't have like the, like the science to back this <laughs> up, but it was well fast. <laughs> it was really fast. That. They're really solid. It's really solid. The Kaiser always use really, really s dense plastic, much denser than the Celtic frames. Right. If you held them together with no wheels in the Celtic one, you can just like that. You can squeeze Kaiser the ones. You can't. Not, you can't. They're really, really rigid frame walls. Like this. Yeah. If it didn't have wheels in, you could squeeze it. Um, yeah. So that could be the reason why. And I was like, straight away on those. I was like, whoa, they're really fast. <laughs> Woo! Do you know, they are absolutely rapid. Um, and this was one of the frames that I, I was less excited to try. Mm. Yeah, you were genuinely I just, I can't really surprised about how they were. Yeah. And that's like, a, that's like a stock frame on loads of skates now. Yeah. But they're doing stuff, aren't they, Kaiser? They like figure stuff out and make good stuff. So it's not yeah. a surprise that the frame is good at all. But also an absolute pain to put together. <laughs> the yeah, oh, worst. Yes. The worst. The worst one to put together. And, uh, but we figured that that might have been a good thing because it was so difficult to get the wheel in mm. that that also meant that when the wheel was in, it held it so tight. It, yeah. was, it, was, it was really in there. And that might yeah. be part of the reason for the speed on it as well. I think it might be the most cost-effective frame as well. That as well. It's, it's the most pretty best cheap. economy. Yeah, it's a yeah. pretty, pretty cheap frame compared to some of them. Yeah. But um, what you haven't talked about is like the H-block split. Etc. Yeah, it was a good size, a good width. We put up the whips at the end of the video, and it's got these little wheel cup in. Um, and yeah, I didn't feel any any wheel bite on it. It felt good every time I tried something. And it's also probably a testament to the <laughs> thickness. I think the thickness of the frame walls actually also helps with wheel bite as well, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And that that's got the thickest wall at the bottom of the frame out of any of the frames we tried. I think um, top soles again. It was just like mm, yeah, I can do it. Fine. Um, and Royale position, yeah, I really liked as well. Like straight away, um, almost straight away. I did, I did a little groove on the curb on that one, but it felt great. Um, at the end, we'll go through all these frames and just say, oh, this one's best for this, this one's best for that. And here's my overall winner. I think I tried the Solar next. I was really interested to see the speed of the Solar versus the speed of the Kaiser Fluid 5 frame because you'd expect the Solar frame to be faster because it was aluminium um, and when I did try it I would say that I didn't feel much speed difference. So in comparison to the, uh, the Fluid 5s which I've just tried they feel I can definitely feel like the rigidity of the metal there's, there's the responsiveness is definitely there but no faster actually than the Fluid 5s which is interesting. Interesting. Yeah I thought I thought it was going to make a big, big difference on speed. Mm. Um, ignore this H block, this is just a 3D printed one, but it's very similar to the one that comes with those solar frames. And as you can see, I've really grooved that in. So, um, yeah, um, I did, this was already pre grooved actually before the day. And, uh, but with that groove, they felt amazing. In fact, I'd say they felt the best way out position for this skate. And I skated them with 62s on the outside and 58s in the middle high-low setup. The top soles were the best, I felt. Yes. It did feel more forgiving on the top side, for sure. I felt like I had a bit more space. I'm, I'm pretty sure that wasn't psychological, but I had a bit more space and it was more forgiving on the top side, like it was, it was deeper in towards my foot, if that makes sense. Uh, yeah, I felt nice and safe. And the other thing about the solar frames is they're the lowest frames we did in the test as well. So for top sides, you get best of both ones. You get a thin wall for more sole space and then a low frame as well. So you don't have to, you know, when you're putting it on a top side like this, obviously it sticks out less and you don't have to like bend your foot over so much to get the top side. And I didn't feel any wheel bite on those either. I was scared of the wheel bite on those, but actually on this skate, because I guess that sole kit in the way I was quite lent down. Um, I uh, didn't get any wheel bite and didn't get any wheel bite on the top sole. So I, I really liked the solar frame. I was, I was really happy that I was able to skate it without any issues. I'd say the only thing about the solar frame is like, it's a no-no on a set slide for me. It's not happening. For some people who are better at skating maybe, but no, I can't set slide on that. Could you set slide on that? Be okay. better at skating than me? I bet Harry can do it. Yeah, I think I... Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, I did test slides on them. Well, we'll see. Well, next time. <laughs>
you have to prove it. So you say okay, it. fine. I remember the name of the the width measurement as well. It's called the deck. The deck. Mm. But people won't think that is a genuine memory because they probably think I googled it off camera. Did you google it off camera? No, I didn't. I just remembered it. Next frame I tried was the slim line. We'll cut to a footage of this with wheels in it. Um, Kai is a slim line two frame. 64 millimeter on the outside, 60 on the inside. Look at that groove. I th I'm not holding out a lot of hope for that. That looks too deep and I'm really scared about the wheel bite I'm gonna get on the 60s in the middle. This was the one that was like felt a lot different to all the other frames. Everything, everything else was like, oh, I can kind of tell a difference between them. And this one was just like blatant. Um, and it's because of this really big, deep groove. And the groove's actually very thin as well. Like, look how thin they've made it in the middle. It dips down like this, so you've got a different kind of position. And um, I got a lot of wheel bite on these. That frame has been out for years, and they did the rockering. They were one of the first people one of, to do, one of the first to do it. To do like loads of options of rockering as well. Yeah, yeah. But I think you can tell it's been out for years because times have moved on, and I don't think they would make a groove that deep these yeah, days. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I, I felt a lot of wheel bite on these. What was yeah. the first? What skates were USD releasing when that frame came out? What was? They was they were on Thrones, yeah. On Thrones, yeah. Some of the later ones, yeah. With a sixty-eight. There was that one that had really big wheels, yeah. Mm. Yeah, it had like 68 or 72. Do you remember there was one with 80 millimetre? It was 80 on here and it was cut into the... <coughs> That's the one I mean, like the grey one. Yeah, 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 I remember that one. Yeah, yeah. anti-rocker. Was it anti-rocker? It was anti-rocker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's yeah. amazing. <sighs> the, the groove, I remember trying that one and the groove was just so wide that that your my, my foot on the grind was just going to one side and just hitting one of the wheels, either the f either one of the two middle wheels, it was hit, sliding along that's and hitting exactly, the wheel. Yeah, that's exactly what happened so, to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and yeah, because I, I couldn't bone over loads um, because of the, the, the deepness of the groove and the thinness of the frame making you stand up more, um, that also contributed to that wheel bite as well. So that was the one that was like really obvious. It wasn't, it wasn't so great on the flat setup. I mean, the frame felt good on the roll, really good. Mm. And I wonder if, I wonder if you could skate an anti setup. Well, I, I mean, I work. skated, I've skated that anti rocker for a while, and I just tried it on on a flat setup when I had when I was skating them, and just went straight back to the anti rocker. But it's a really good anti rocker frame, I think. Yeah, and then yeah, top soles again, because of the wheel bite on the front foot, they didn't feel great, and the way our position was was too stood up for me on those. So. Um, but I kind of pass on those ones, but the the. If you want to buy Kaiser, the Fluid 5s are great. Um, next frame, tried. Oh, again, I wasn't, I wasn't like that excited about trying this, but Pretty in the cool. end, like when I did try it, I felt I really liked it. It's the Ground Control Featherlight 4 frame, quite new. And I skated it flat 62. It's quite big. And uh, for a straight flat setup. The last frame I tried was the solar frame, so it was the aluminium thin frame. And yeah, you, you can tell going back to the plastic, the solidity on them feels really nice, like the shock absorption. Oh, really nice, yeah. And that's a brand new groove as well. Yeah, it just locked straight in, it felt like a really good position. Yeah, straight away felt alright. The groove is actually just like, they've, they've done a really great job with the groove. It's, it's the perfect medium of, of shallow and but deep enough to kind of lock on. I think like in terms of groove shape out the box, that's the best we've tried today. And yeah, with the 62 millimeter wheels, I no, still no issue on the, on the wheel bite. I think the wheel bite only occurs when you get it wrong. And I suppose what you're testing for then it's like how forgiving is a frame when you get it a bit wrong. But just don't get it wrong. Be better. <laughs> <laughs> Top soles, I didn't get any wheel bite at all. Back rails, no wheel bite. Everything, I was surprised hmm. about that. I think that's a really, really good option for everyone, a really good all-rounder. 
Funny it's called a Featherlight though. I'd say that's probably feels like the bulkiest, like <laughs> heaviest frame. It should be called like he heavy, not not fe not Featherlight Four. <laughs> I guess they, it, it looks a little bit like the Mega Frame. I would have thought they would have called it something like the Mega 60 or something like that. There was a big, um, everyone was up in arms when they called it the Mega Frame. Do you remember? Everyone went, why is it called the Mega Frame? That's weird. Because do you remember they made the Big Frame? Because the Mega Frame is smaller than the Big Frame. And everyone was like, surely Mega is bigger than Big, isn't it? Everyone got over it pretty quick. Oh, yeah, and I now it's <laughs> fine. We all survived the Mega yeah. Gate. Yeah, yeah, I had a bit of counselling, but I was all right. <laughs> it brings me nicely onto the Symmetrix frame as well. I didn't try this, actually, I don't have footage of this. I didn't try it on the day, but I've tried that really recently. And I thought the Symmetrix and the ground control skated very, very similar. The proportions are very similar, you know. That split in the middle, it's almost the same. The length of the frames is almost the same. Different material, it's kind of a harder material on the Symmetrix frame. So it depends whether you like that or not. Um, I like to groove a big groove in my skates and I find it quite difficult to groove a big groove on the Symmetrix frame. Um, obviously you can, but you have to try a bit harder to get it to wear down because it's so hard wearing. So, I mean, I think a lot of people would think that's a good thing, that it's hard wearing. Uh, the other thing that I think there's a slight advantage with the Symmetrix frame over the ground control frame is that it takes slightly bigger wheels as well. I think you can fit 65 flat in that one. So if you want bigger wheels, that, that's great, better. If you want to be a bit lower to the ground, then the ground control is just that little bit lower. Skate similar. Um, ground control is probably cheaper as well. Like, we don't sell the Symmetrix frame. It's only sold direct from Adapt. They only sell direct, yeah. Um, They've got like quite pricey, isn't it? Bridges in between the wheels as well, haven't they? Some uh, frame that is bridges. A good point. Yeah, they've got bridges between the wheels. So the rigidity of the frame. It's a really good selling point, actually. Yeah, but they, but you're right. They do have a really similar like effective contact between they like yeah. the split between all the wheels is what I mean. Yeah. Um, it's very like balanced. Yeah. Flat. So, so yeah, h h harder wearing, um, a bit more uh, rigid. These ones, um, but yeah, the ground control um, cheaper. And those Featherlight fours come on a lot of Razor skate stock now as well. Yeah. So. In. And then the last frame, and this is a frame I just came from. This is what I was skating on before, and I loved this frame. I loved everything about it. Uh, but when I put it on my them skate, it was too hard. My royale position was all like, I had to bend my foot so far over, and I didn't like the royale position on it, and I, I couldn't even like try and groove the groove loads in the frame because look, it kind of runs out of plastic on the H block. These h box will be out soon, by the way. They're, they're new plastic ones. Um, but yeah, because the metal gets in the way, you can't even do a really deep groove on it. So that's why I did this test today, because I really wanted to test for um, a new frame for myself. Um, but generally, really good frames. If you're using it on another boot, which isn't the them skate, which has got like a wider sole, I think they'd be really good. In fact, they worked really well on this Rollerblade Solo SK Blanks when I tried them. They were the perfect frame for that skate. Um, and this is the high-low one, so like you can have 68 on the outside and 60 in the middle. I skated it with 64 and 56, and just no wheel bite ever, really great. Um, but a little high as well, high riding as well as the, the, the groove being quite high. Um, and again, like the speed on those, I mean, you've got bigger wheels, so like you've got all the, the advantages of, of big, bigger wheels if you want to skate the bigger wheels on them. But I can't say that they're, they're metal, like, or say, I couldn't really notice loads of difference. So I think the main advantages of metal frames for me are this thin wall, which gives you more sole space. And, oh, that's the other thing. They're, they're, it's really noticeable on grinds. Um, and I don't mean like the way it slides on grinds. I mean, the way it, you feel this directional solidity on grinds, and then when you land off of the trick, it's like, it's like they're like darts, aren't they? Like you just land and you go in that direction. There's just no, no flex. And I really like that, like that about metal frames. Um, so yeah, the Kaiser's really great. Again, no set slides, really, unless you're really, really good at set slides. <laughs> and um, it's an all, all round good frame, but not, not for the Vem skate, in my opinion. Not for the Royals, the Royal position. So that's all the frames. Um, I think what I'll do because so I'll tell you what my best all-round frame was. I'm going to say best all-rounder. 
was the wish for him. I think if I had to just go with anything, if you had a gun to my head and you say you've got, a, and you said you've got to skate this frame for the rest of your life, skate one of these frames for the rest of your life, that's the one I'd go for. I felt so safe on it and great set slides and fun, loads of fun. Wish medium, Celtic, best for oh, best for like kind of groove groove tricks on rails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the groove. Yeah, yeah. I think on square it was a little bit odd. Maybe I needed to get used to it. Mm -hmm. Best. For Best for uh, like get yeah, groove tricks and rails are really cool and those they feel great and uh, best for like loads of different like wheel options rocking up and down. Oh. The solar frame was my second favorite frame actually. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a wish frame set up <coughs> and I'm going to have a solar frame set up and I'm going to like alternate between the two because they're both good for like completely different things. Um, but yeah, the solar was best for like topside tricks and best for like looks. I thought. So that's, that's definitely like in my mind, I think second or almost first place with the wish frame, depending on what you want to do with it. And Kaiser Fluid 5, I thought best for speed. Zipping around the place. Yeah. Oh, really good on speed. So best for speed. And then um, Symmetrics, best for like having, uh, like having big wheels on a flat, um, on a completely flat frame that's not high low. Because they fit up to 65s. And best of all, being hard wearing as well, actually, the symmetrics. And ground control, really good all rounder. Best for. I thought they were really good for cess slides, actually. I really liked doing cess slides on those. <laughs> what are the slimlines best for, guess? Anti rocker. Anti rocker, right. <laughs> so, in our best flat frame review, the award for best anti rocker frame is <laughs> too. Maybe that was a little bit of a wild card, but it was worth trying. Yeah, yeah. They were fast as well, good for skating around in. Um, and then, yeah, these are best for like, yeah, a wide sole kit, I think. And uh, if you want a metal frame with a big split, where you, these are best for having a metal frame, if you want a metal frame, but without um, too much anxiety on, on um, catching your wheels up. Cool. We'll, we'll put up on the screen, right, here's, here's the thing up on the screen that says the r r frame ride heights. Pause it if you want to see frame ride heights. And then here's the thing on the screen that says <coughs> frame split distances. Pause it if you want to refer to that. But also you can refer to Loco Skates, um, each product page. See. Soon. Harry's just uploading now. Um, we're going to have diagrams on every frame that tell, tell you the different dimensions. So watch out for that coming up in the next few days. And that's it. Any, any more to say? We survived the hurricane. Still got to get home. Yeah. yeah. I'd say if the customers aren't, or the viewers, I mean, if they're not um, sure about what frame to buy <coughs> still, probably the same as us. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we didn't come to any like really solid conclusions. I'm sorry, but it's so nuanced this whole um, testing products thing, isn't it? Uh, so yeah, I hope I hope we provided like some good detailed information for you yeah, to like, base your own opinions. Yeah, on take some snippets out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone, and tune in for like Harry's anti rocco video coming up, which is going to be set truly revealing yeah you could do it now they all basically felt pretty much the same yeah and then the next <laughs> next video is me rolling flat setup on anti-rocker wheels yeah. <laughs> i've done that before <laughs> you've done that yeah. for real yeah i was trying to get a uh, dirt box to make um 55 100 a wheels yeah so yeah, I was, yeah i was testing just skating on anti-rocker to see if it just would work if it's actually possible and it did it's fine and it did Interesting. Yeah. There you go. So there you go. Slide wheels. There's an idea for another brand out there. Okay. 55 by 100A. Make them for me. No, when I when I told my friend Will about the video, the anti rock one, he said he's got some. He had some 60 mil 3D printed ones, and he put them on the inside of his in his Aeons just to see if it would, you know, stop him sticking up. And it did. But he said other than that, it was crap. <laughs> of course. <laughs> He should have just like slid along sideways instead of rolling. <laughs> It'd probably be easier. <laughs> just slide up to the grind. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thanks for watching, everyone, and see you soon. Bye.